We're here today in Folly Lane, Swinton. Um, we're at the home of one of Salford Online's readers who contacted us to tell us about a remarkable discovery he made whilst digging the foundations for his house. I've got with me Glenn Atkinson, the noted historian and author from Salford University's Archaeological Studies Unit. So if you'll come with me, we'll see what we shall find at the bottom of the garden. Wells um, building an extension here and uh, digging down the footings and we just come across uh, a couple of big Yorkshire stone slabs, prized them apart and seen all this water underneath. So we started putting sticks down, we couldn't find a stick long enough, about 30 foot deep I think. Yeah. And then once we took all the earth away, found that it was a, a well. Well, wells were generally put, depending on the geology of the site, they needed porous rock to drill the well into, to let the water into. Uh, they tended to be to serve an individual group of properties. Um, looking at the ancient maps, sort of the 1760 maps and that area, does show a cluster of cottages in this area. The gut feeling is it is certainly mid-18th century, 1750 ish. Oh, indeed, I mean, they were the prime source of water for the sort of hamlet clusters of cottages that had sprung up in the late 18th century, early 19th century, and even for the ribbon development of the, the early industrial houses up to the 1880s, 1890s. It's absolutely full of water, so we're actually looking through the water to see what it is. Um, but it is circular, it is stone-lined, um, you would have thought if it was contemporary with the, the house as, a, as is now, uh, it would have been built in, in brick, but certainly it, it's stone line, so I, w I guess it predates the actual building that stands here now. And looking on the maps, it, it could well be some form of, of home industry. It used to be quite a, an important silk manufacturing uh, area and uh, possibly dyeing, dyeing of cloth. So which, for which both processes would need a lot of, uh, of water. What was your initial reaction on seeing the site this well? S surprised really. Um, you don't often find uh, a well in a, a terraced house. Do you know if these wells are common to this area of uh, Monton, Swinton? I've, I've seen similar structures in, in wells uh, in, in several places, but you couldn't actually say they were, they're, they're common. I mean, they're, again, it's, it's the location that's the key. It took us a week of uh, literally digging it out by hand and uh, we came across a brick that was lodged in the in the ground so I took a pickaxe to it to remove it and the brick broke in half and disappeared into the vaulted room that which, which we found underneath in the cellar and uh, the ar artifacts that were found which you, you've seen are, uh, which were down there in the mud embedded in the mud. But we were looking at the the stuff that had come out and it looks as if this had a pump I installed to, to get the water from its sort of sump, if you like, up to the top where people could use it. Uh, the main barrel of the pump was literally hollowed out tree trunks and they actually became known as pump trees. And the hole down the middle was bored out and at the bottom was a slightly smaller hole with a piston in it and a little leather valve so you could suck the water up and then force it up the pipe and it came out at the top. Right. Its own weight, because it's bound in iron, would sink it down and that little valve would open up. When it had got to the bottom, the valve would close because it's leather weighted and then you would haul it up with a chain and bring three or four gallon of water up with you. Right. Do you think it's a good find? I, I think it's a remarkable find. It certainly needs... Uh, documenting and uh, recording certainly. Is it of any social importance the finding of this well do you think? It, it could be. Um, as I say I, I, in the history and archaeology of Salford is important to, uh, to to us as the archaeology department at the university particularly with it being local and Salford because we'd love to be able to pump the water out and get down there and see what is actually in the bottom because he's found one or two bits of uh, artefacts in there uh, but I think it's a little bit too dangerous to do that at the moment. Finally what do you think Graham should do with this well? <laughs> uh, be very careful.